Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie here, welcome back to Victoria 3. As the British East India Company in Pivot of Empire, we are in patch 1.8.1. Uh, Paradox made a hotfix very quickly, so we are now on the released version that you guys have as well. And um, yeah, they changed how the stabilization works here, or the, the stability of the precedencies. Um, I think this is cut in half, the subjects from Low Liberty Desire. As you can see, we are still good. Uh, we are still at zero in, in Bombay. And in Madras, we are still gaining 0.1. So we are completely fine over here. And yeah, our goal is, of course, to uh, keep uh, getting those states over here. So that we can complete, consolidate colonial rule. And then afterwards, we'll try to break free and become our own country. Because we are still paying Great Britain 81,000 monies. And I don't like that. Another thing that uh, Paradox told me in the influencer discord is that um, you need 25% agitating level or an activism level of 25% before you can get a bonus for what these movements want and I didn't know that and it's nowhere to be found so they're gonna change that hopefully they will change it in the next patch um, and most likely they are going to change this because I told them so. Luckily I could help them a little bit here. But yeah, as we see over here, the, the, the utilitarian movement that we really want to do. We want to get schooling and uh, women's suffrage and uh, work in the workplace, proportional taxation, etc. We want all of that. Um, and at the moment we don't get any bonuses for enacting. But when activism is at 25% or higher... We will get the support bonus, so 6% bonus for the, all these laws over here. So that is how it works. So let me take a look at all our movements. We see that we have a very militant Guya, Guyarati movement. But there are almost no people over here, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, over here as well. We have a, a pro-slavery movement. We have at least 10% supporters, but they are completely passive. This is going to change, of course, when we change the law to uh, slavery disallowed. Let's find out how that works. Um, so yeah, the biggest ones we need to take care of at the moment are just the, uh, the this one, the utilitarian one. The rest is all fine. We have some national movement here, but n once again, no supporters. So there is nothing that can rise up over here. And the passive movement we just uh, stabilized. There is no more activism because we just changed to per capita taxation, minus 67%. So they will no, uh, not have any activism for a very long time. But when they go above 25%, I have a 26% support for uh, collectivized agriculture and homesteading. So, and that's fine for me. But let's keep playing. Uh, Great Britain is going to want to make Zulu their protectorate. Apparently. Uh, I think the AI Great Britain is now really going after this region. Or at least Zulu. If you play as another country that wants the gold over here, you have to prepare that Great Britain is going to be very angry. Oh yeah, and that also reminds me, maybe we should do this. We can uh, bolster this movement. So we get a little bit more support in the utilitarian movement. And then when they get active, we have more chance to get uh, the primary school and women in the workplace. And we can get rid of legal guardianship and stuff, so yeah. Maybe we should do this, but then we need a little bit more bureaucracy. I mean, autocracy. Authority, sorry. Um, what do I want to stop then? Do we have any very bad consumption tax? Well, not really. They are all fine. Huh. Well, then we are going to stop social mobility in Northern Sea Cigars. There we go. And we are going to put this movement over here to get a bolster. We get 40% bolstered impact, so... Does it already tell where it is going? Yeah. Going to 7%, apparently. We are bolstering it. Because we have censorship. Okay. Zulu backs down, and that means that Zulu is now a puppet of Great Britain and a block member. Now, we still have a good amount of infamy. Did it change anything after I unpassed? No, I think the, the calculations are already in. It's still very easy with the, the halving of the, uh, the uh, low liberty desire. 
In my opinion, they should still halve it again, but okay, that's me. We are building the universities, because we need to do this for the uh, British dictate. And for now, we're gonna do this. And what is this? My vessel Persia. Wants to conquer Omani Bampur. And Omani Hormuz. Well, that's fine. Can I get something too? I can liberate Baluchistan. What can I do as well? I can ask a treaty port or I can ask for Omani war operations. If I release Baluchistan... Where will it get released then? Because Baluchistan is over here. Baluchi. Also Baluchi. This is not Baluchi anymore, right? No, that's just Persian. This is also Baluchi, right? Yes. But what gets released then? I think it's gonna release these little pimples over here. So maybe we should not help them. No, let's not help them. We are losing a huge amount of money actually. My interest is going up. But I want to complete my uh, education so that we can uh, get a little bit more uh, innovation game. It's really helpful. Okay, we are approving with our vessels over here. Yeah, we are just going to keep playing on speed 5 here. We have a huge amount of loyalists, which is really helping right now. It's really good. Really, really helps. Only a couple of penalties over here. But we have a huge amount of bonuses. Especially the Hindus are really happy with me. So, it's going nicely. Is there anything I want to change here? We want to keep this one for the taxation capacity. We absolutely need it because we have a too big of a country. And yeah, we don't, we don't have the we don't have the bureaucracy really to do anything. I want to get rid of my colonization maybe even because we are not doing that at all. I mean, we could get private schools and public schools as well. Maybe we should get it. There is an achievement to get to 95% literacy. I don't know if that is even possible, but... We cannot really ban slavery. That's not gonna work for us. You know what? Maybe we should just try to get public schools. So private schools is just giving... Um, wait, what? Minus 40%. Why is it saying minus 40% there? Why? I guess we have a... But this it's still saying it's minus 800 here. Which is this number. But it's saying minus 40%. What is that number? Do we have the same over here? No, we can't see it anymore. Huh. Well, maybe we should just go for it. Let's get some schooling. Let's get public schools. Only 6% chance... Because of the utilitarian movement. Ah, the utilitarian movement is now at 25% then. Otherwise it should not. Yeah, there we go. Agitating. Um, let's go for it. Let's try to get public schools and just get the... Uh, we made someone happy and that gave me bureaucracy. Oh yeah, the civil servants, I guess. Or not. Yeah. They give, they give civil servants bureaucracy and authority. And we get westernization. Oh. Okay. Less radical in, uh, increase for the cultural status that we have. Over here. Still, most of the people are uh, getting all these penalties over here. At some point we can get rid of it, guys. At, at least I hope so. Uh, we can decrease the autonomy. No, we don't want to do that. Not right now. Inefficient agriculture. The East India Company has started complaining about the existence of subsistence farms. Yeah, we got this event many times. I will just... Well, actually... Yeah, let's not piss them off more. We're gonna do this one then. We just gained how many radicals? I think a little bit. 
Oh well. They should complete the uh, education thing, right? Or not? Well, this one will complete it. And I'm building five because I want to complete the, uh, the philosophy department. Journal entry. Branching out is not gonna do not gonna work for us from farms to factories. It's gonna take a very long time to get rid of our peasants, but that's what we want to do, and urbanization as well. And we still want to build that railway, because we get the railways for prosperity. That sounds like a really good event for us, so. The Delhi Calcutta line includes the state regions of West Bengal, Bihar, Ud, Agra, and Delhi. We need to build one railway there. And, I, and I'm going to do that, actually, because we can get some transportation for <coughs> our rich people. Oh my goodness, what is this? Great Britain is going ham. They are going to take the Ryukyu Island Treaty Port. Oh my god, it's going to be a mess over here, because this is the Ryu Ryukyu Island. And they want foreign investment rights on the uh, enclosed Japanese state. Well, oh well. Raising concerns. We can switch some opinions around. Or not. Huh. The bureaucracy is really nice to have though. I think I'm gonna do this one then. Oh well. Yeah, I would love to get the... Oh, there we go. Plus four suddenly. Why do we get plus four? Maybe some timed stuff. Maybe we're gonna get the bureaucracy bonus here. And we completed the uh, Brit British Higher Education completed, and that makes a couple of things really uh, good for us. Because what do we have now? We have plus 10 over here, because we have appeased the political lobby a little bit more. Successfully completing dictate from our suzerain. That makes the, armed uh, the Presidency Armies and the East India Company... Uh, happy. And now we get all these bonuses over here. Which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, Russia is siding with uh, Japan. Now oh, that is interesting. Boys and girls. A debate over whether the new public schools should have separate classes for male and female students. Um... We can piss people off, in, but it will go quicker, or it takes longer. Well, let's just say, let's do it longer. We are not in a hurry, not at all, actually. Persia, are you still my subject that I don't join your your war? Yes, and you're gonna take everything down over here. Something improving relations, okay. Oh yeah, the paper price is still super high, which is really hurting us over here. We are paying 56,000 on paper. <laughs> that is... Wait, is that actually... What is my total income? This. I'm paying 25% on paper? Almost. Wow. Of the whole country. That's just insane, isn't it? It really is. Okay, we need one more university and then I will stop building because my interest... Uh, I don't want it to go up too much. We are selling our buildings, of course, so... I'm gonna get sometimes a little bit more money over there. And our investment pool is doing great, actually. Okay, the Japanese war. I'm gonna see some stuff in the British market because wars also do that, actually. And we have a new company. They have another debate for the public schools. We can piss off the presidency armies, or we will take longer. No, we're not gonna not gonna piss people off. Okay, we can take a new company. There are only two available right now. This would mean that this United Bombay Ag Agriculture Producers are going to build farms in our country that are going to have a 40% company throughput bonus. 
that can be really good. I don't like a, I don't like this this bonus though, but this one is the same. What is the difference between the grain consortium and this one? You are also making rice farms, maize, and millet farms. You are the rye farm one. Well, I guess we're gonna establish this one. To this new company, the following buildings will be transferred. They will get five rice farms that are owned by me. Okay. And that is in Bombay, right? There he is. Okay, we're gonna start working here. They are going to make dividends because those rice farms are gonna be amazing. Oh my. Yes. Can I sell these buildings to you? I wish there was an option, but... Yeah, there is no option like that. Uh, is everything privatized in my screen over here? So they updated it that you don't have to click this over and over. When you have uh, put one building type to the privatization, it stays now. So that's really good. That's a good change they made. Yeah, I think we have everything on the right production methods. We just need more... Uh... Oh, and there's the philosophy department that I wanted. We get a bit of university throughput for a little bit here. So we can research a little bit quicker. Fine. Really good, actually. And what is my grain and food security now? Still a little bit expensive, but it's fine-ish. There is still some mild starvation. Also in my territories. Yeah. In British Indian, Mysore and Malaya. Can you right click this and then... No. Calm, that is annoying. What are these? Is that market access penalties? Oh my god, everyone is having market access penalties. In my subject states. That is annoying. Okay, I think we're just gonna go to war, guys. We need to complete this uh, this thing over here. And, well, actually, is Persia almost done? Let's wait until Persia is done. And then we're gonna go after Chitral, I think. Well, you're actually very small. Let's just go for it. I think we are fine. I hope so, at least. Let's make that my uh, my vessel. And also Kabul. Hey, they're building a railway somewhere. Oh, in West Bengal. We already had something over there, but it's fine. Completely fine. Now, I don't think we need a big army over there. I'm going to send a 39 army over there. So the Magal army is going to stay home. It should be more than enough. Gold discovered. We have an advance here for my uh, school stuff. We can get 15% or we get 10% and make you popular. No, let's get 15%. So finally we have a good success chance. And there we go guys. Great Britain has taken a new principle. Market Unification 1. What does that mean? All block members. 10% company tribute bonus. Wait a minute. Really? Oh yeah, but that one is... Wait, I'm gonna go over here. Bombay to my grain stuff. The rice farms. Oh yeah. I mean, it is 41 because we don't completely own it. We own a 5 sixth part.
yeah, there it is. So a company always gets 50% throughput bonus. That also means we get 50% more uh, opium now. Yeah, opium is still very cheap. Good for the people in my country. Hey, I got that achievement is wrong. I already had one. And they back down, so they are now my subjects. We need one more state, guys. We need to do this one more time, and we will uh, do the thing. How big is Kabul to take? 8.9 infamy. Well. Persia's gonna help me. Let's just go over it. And the 39 troops can actually stay. Oh wait, how can I do this again? Where are you going? Stay over there. Because I'm gonna call Punjab in. Forcely. That should be it, guys. That we, then we're gonna complete the thing. Uh, it could be further from the truth. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna convert you guys. Don't you worry. You can stay Hindu in my country. We have 200 authority laying around. Whoa, we can make so much money from transportation. Yeah, for now, yes. It will all change when we are going... Uh, uh, when we are breaking free, of course, because then we have so much money. Everyone is happy in the country. Everyone. Okay, after this war is done and no one is going to help you, so this is going to be amazing. I'm actually going to send a couple more troops over there. Debate for the public schools. We can get 10%, but we will piss off the servile, civil servant, sorry. I will do this one. But this is only bad. So why would I do that one? No, I think we're going to do the enactment chance. Well, do we? Yeah, we can piss them off a little bit. They are still happy. So, yes. Faith knows no borders. I mean, the radicals from political movies is really good. I don't want to piss them off. But the political group's political strength, I'm not really keen of. So maybe we should just do this one. And get some more to the political servants. The civil servants, sorry. Okay, we are at war. Now we need to ask them to give me access. It will give them more liberty desire. But this should mean that this will be the end of our journal that we need to do. So let's put them everyone over here. Yeah, you can do this now. You can drag a box. You can drag a box around your armies now, I think. Field works, more 10% defense. And what do we do now? I think the... the I think we're going to break free somewhat quickly from this point on. Don't need that one. Yeah, let's get the uh, skirmish infantry. And the ammunition stuff. I don't know if we can make it, but we'll, we have to find out. Okay, this war should be over, and then we are clicking the general entry. And I have no idea what will happen then, because it will be my first time clicking it, so... I will make a save, actually, before that happens, so that we can actually roll back when we are not happy with the outcome. Or whatever reason. Just, just safety. I should also build a navy, actually. I mean, yes, we will focus on this region, but it's easier, right, to have a nice navy. Okay, let me make a save file. All right, the save file is made. Let's go. And we did it. They are my protectorate, and we completed our journal entry. Now we have a solid frontier. 
The Great Indian Subcontinent has been brought completely under British Indian rule. Those native forces which once threatened the security of our rule have been brought to heel. Oh! Loyal princes will keep the peace. We can get our relations up by all these vassals of ours. Or capital will cement our rule. No, loyal princes will keep the peace. And then this one will complete now if we have a standard of living of 10. Which we don't have anymore. Shit. How are we going to get that one then? Well, first of all, we can maybe lower the taxes, but then we don't make any money. Uh, yeah, how are we going to get this, Dutchie? I don't know. How are we going to get to 10? Well, uh, building more food and stuff, I guess. Let's take a look at the charts. Our detailed list. So, we have a lot of laborers uh, struggling. 2.1 million laborers are having a standard of living of 1. Why? Because they are all unemployed. In Agra. Where is Agra? That is a problem. Oh. Oh! Twenty-two million people over here. Uh... Why are you all... Unemployed? I don't know. Well, let's build some stuff over here, I guess. I might have to tax the people more because I'm not making any money whatsoever. Yes, we have these unrealized taxes. It's true. I mean, what can we do about it? Well, Dutchie, you need to break free. Yeah, we should. We should break free. Oh yeah, we need to... demobilize our armies. That will help as well. And maybe we can lower the military wages for a bit. That doesn't do anything. This helps, but we get a little bit of... approval problems. But that is fine. Yes, it's fine. And let's also do this. And then we can at least keep building one building. And that's it. I don't want to tax the people more, I think. Let's try to get these people over here some jobs. Because everyone is angry over here. Why are they all starving? Because they have no job. Yeah, yeah. They have no job. We just saw that over here. And we still have slaves. What if I get rid of slaves? Then these slaves will all be freed instantly, right? That should help us well, because we have 2.3 million of standard level of 3. And in... Yeah, we have different labor groups. Hindustani Hindus, Hindustani Sunnis. And they are, they are all jobless, they have no more job. I don't know how they became... They're all dying off though. Which is good for me, because then I can get to standard of living 10 earlier. <laughs> this game is brutal. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we get minus 10% throughput, because it's an unincorporated state. And if I want to incorporate this thing, it's going to cost me a thousand bureaucracy. Yikes. That is some big yikes, isn't it? Are you making more buildings? Are you making money? 
A new company, where are you? There. Oh yeah, they need to wait for the cash reserves to go up. Oh, they are making money. Of course most go to the cash reserves now, but when that's full we get a bit more reinvestment and then they can hopefully build more farms around the country. I think that's a good option that we pick that one. Everything's okay, we have we have built one building, guys, to make people uh, get a job over here. <laughs> Good thing for us, it's paper. We need paper, so maybe I'm even gonna build another one here. There's no local sulfur, but there is local wood and it is very cheap, so you know what? Here, let's build another one. Local consumption is 107, so we can build, well actually. Yeah, let's build one more paper mill over there. Uh, Crooked connections. Hmm. Minus two in uh, approval for the Hindus. Then we are gonna lose this thing. Yeah, that's not. Well, just takes longer and longer, but we have 32% chance, so I'm gonna keep doing this. I think that's fine. Now, the question is do we want to start breaking free already, or do we want to complete this thing first? I think I want to complete this thing first. This one is going down now, as you can see, in Bombay. Because we have low military wages and high taxes. What I can do temporarily is just uh, lower my taxes everywhere. And increase the funding over here. That should give it, get us to the standard of living. Or I should get healthcare or something that also helps. But it's also expensive guys. We don't have the bureaucracy for it. Cross border investment. Yeah, I'm not going to piss off the East India Company, so we do this one. How are my vassals doing? Anyone getting high liberty desire? You are going down, but very slowly. The Kalsairai. And Kalat is not really going down. The other ones are somewhat fine. Yeah, but some of them we have poor relations, of course. We are improving with you. We have maximum relations with you. Burma. We are doing already. Let's do in Kabul. And you doing you as well. Okay, I think we are fine. We should maybe start building some stuff in their country. So that they get more economic dependence. They are already at entangled. But we can make this better. We need to lower it. Also, lower infamy helps, because then we get better relations, of course. Let's keep doing this. My interest is almost going away, which really helps when we, we are this poor. And remember, all the money goes to Great Britain. It's going up and up and up, because they have 50% um, of my income. 50%, guys. Oh, goodness. They do market unification, too. What is that? We get 10% more infrastructure now. That is really helpful. And in 18 months they will do the number 3. And then at least we know what the power block is going to look like. What the hell is happening over here? <laughs> Great Britain wants to humiliate Russia. What a war goal. And did they win? Yeah. There's the Ryukri Treaty Port, Amami. And now Britain can invest in Japan. Holy shit. And the nice thing for us is that with those paper mills, we are also lowering our paper price. While we are giving people a job that are jobless over here. So it's working both ways. But the price is going down here now, right? We could do another one. Do another one. Because I assume that when we incorporate this, we need a huge amount of uh, taxation capacity anyway. We should just build paper mills in more more places. Building two things at the same time. Will we go lose money? No. Okay. Let's then do this. Our infrastructure is looking fine. Not in some of my vessels provinces. 
but we cannot really care about that right now. Let's just lower the, 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 the paper price. Of course, when we break free, we get our own market. That reminds me, we need to take a look at that as well. Because we need to make everything ourselves. Yeah. How do we get this up quick, the quickest way? Well, give people a job and give them, uh, give them food and their basic needs because most of the people are peasants. Oh yeah, still seventy nine percent. One hundred and two million people are peasants, and they are having a lot of money extra. But a lot of these people cannot promote because of the caste system. Maybe I don't know. Uh, what are they need? Their needs. Yeah, most are still grain, but grain is having a decent price. We can build a couple more clove and furniture, food, clothing, and f and then furniture. That's what they want, and they can smoke opium. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're doing <laughs> the whole day. Oh, what is this? We have a thing going. We have a famine in Siamese, Cambodia and British Indian. Oh. Eight percent is having mild starvation. It's really not good. Yeah, we have a famine over here. That's here. So here's the famine. Can we see it over here? Everyone is starving. Oh, the emergency relief gives also market access price impact now. That is really cool. We can do an emergency relief here. That helps a little bit maybe. Meh. Not really I think. I think we just have to go through it. Well guys I'm going to end the episode here. Hopefully you're still enjoying uh, this run. Let's try to get to 10 standard of living by giving people jobs that are jobless and lowering the food prices again. And then lower the taxation. That should hopefully uh, trigger this. And then we'll try to break free. So hopefully we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and comment. And i see you there. Bye bye.